So today I'm going to show you how to build this rounded brace here, which might be useful in showing totals or subtotals in a table or in such a structure. So we will uh, jump into the code here. So first of all, what I'll do is I'll add the numbers which we want to show something like this so i'll add three divs okay that didn't work so i add three divs i add some random numbers there and we can't see those numbers to the right because the background and the text color are same so I will add a div with containing these these numbers so with some text that is more visible text color gray 300 still not wrapped inside we'll wrap that inside so the numbers are nice and visible I'll increase the size of the numbers to a big size for the sake of the video uh, we'll then give this a flex justify the elements to the center and add like a top margin so that it doesn't stick to the top uh, so now what I'll do is I will add a bunch of padding and border to these numbers so we'll give a padding in the x direction of 6 padding in the y direction of 2 and a border border looks too bright so i'll add a we'll change the color of the border to a softer gray That looks fine I guess so we are done with that now what I want to do is I want to build parts of the the bracket on top of this these three so I'll first wrap these three into a flex container mm. so that we have the flex container and now we want to add another flex container before this div and to which we'll add parts of the bracket so the first thing i'll do is so the idea is that i want to build the bracket using borders so i'll add a div on which i'll add borders so let's say I add a div here and just to make it more visible I will add a increase the border thickness so let's do a border 4 so you can clearly see that this rather this is this div is to the left of the numbers we wanted above the numbers so to do that i will add a container div for these two flex containers with a, a flex direction of column so now you see that little dot which is this div on top of the numbers but it still doesn't look anywhere close to what we want so I'll give it a height I'll give it a full width and seems like we are inching clothes closer to, to what we want so just for clarity I will add a background color to this div so we know where the div is and where the borders are so 
what we want to do is we want to have the top left and the right borders to be there and no bottom border so we'll do just that we'll do a bottom sorry border top border left border right so all of the same thickness and we somewhat have a square bracket now we want to increase the gap between the bracket and the numbers so i'll add a margin top to the numbers for margin top of say two for now <coughs> so what we want now is we want to round the top left corner and the right left uh, sorry top right corner of this div uh, so let's just round it and see what happens so we add a border radius say xl and we notice that so we'll make this height a little bigger to make it more clear what's happening so all the four corners are rounded but we want only the top left and the top right borders to be rounded so what i'll do is i will mention that here in so i will add a class to fix that so we want a top left so sorry so top left here and top right here so that looks like a rounded brace uh, i don't want i don't like these lines extending the top the left and the right border extending so i'll just remove them and you'll see a happy surprise once i do that so i'll remove the left and the right borders here and what you notice is that there is a nice taper to this uh, border here like the thickness here on the top side is four and thickness on the left and the right are zero so the border border tapers down to zero and we get a nice uh, curve so i like that and i'll stick with this kind of design instead of the vertical lines hanging here so so this part is done we have like a rounded brace we want to add something in the middle and then the total on top of that so so what i'll do is i will add another flex container with some div inside above this div just to make it more clear and change this color to say yellow for lighter shade okay it's too much better so i have a so what i want is i want something in the middle so one way to do that it is to split so so split these divs into two and i'll remove the top border change the color of the right div so that we can differentiate between the two i'll remove the top border so we want something here so i'll for now i'll also remove all the other rounded corners and see what we want so now what we want is on the left div that is the brown thing looking that is visible here we want a right border so we'll do a border right and i'll give it a thickness of four for now and border left sorry border i wanted to give a border right i gave a border top so I'll give a border right border left four so this looks too thick because it 
4 plus 4 adds up to 8 and we have a border top here of 4 so we wanted to add up to 4 so I'll give it a 2 and a 2 this looks a little too high so what I'll do is I'll reduce the height for this both of these divs so that it doesn't look that big and now to top it off we'll add the total on top of this so which is a dim with the total so the total comes up to 101 we add a text center class to this div and we maybe increase the gap so margin bottom yes that looks fine so this is what we have here is sort of a crude version of the rounded brace but in the middle we have this vertical line instead of like a nice rounded thing what we see here so we will work towards that so again the idea of doing that is to have rounded corners in this region so the brown div this left div will need to have a rounded corner on the bottom right so I'll do a border sorry rounded bottom right and we'll match the size with the border radius we gave for the, the board the radius below the border below sorry so get a rounded bottom right and we want a bottom left here bottom left corner should be rounded for the right div that is a glue div so we have that here so we have something like this but now this looks odd like we see this or uh, this looks a lot so that is because I have a border left and a border right on this on these two divs what I instead want to do is to have a border bottom and that looks better but doesn't still doesn't look perfect so what I'll do is to be able to see it more clearly I'll add a, bot a bottom margin on this div above to separate it from one below to be able to see clearly what's happening so so we have that we what you'll notice we'll remove this bottom margin and see something we we'll notice something is that the border here hangs off this rounded corner on both sides so we want to we don't want to do that we want to remove that part so to fix that what I'll do is I'll add another div before the uh, before the brown div so, so now there is no hang no nothing hanging off we'll do the same here by just reducing like making these widths consistent so I'll make this one fourth the blue div also one fourth the width so we have uh, something hanging off here and so now again I will separate this to show you what's happening margin bottom let's say three okay so we have this in the middle so we almost have what we want so only inconsistency is that the border thickness for the top part is not matching the one for the bottom part so we, we increase that and now what we do is we merge the sort of overlap the top and the bottom divs to make it look like one so what I'll do is I'll add a top margin 
so negative top margin to this lower bracket one so it just merges with the top one and we increase the height here to see if the the rounded corners extend more they don't seem to extend more but we'll let it be so so now the only thing that remains is this middle part where the border joins all the way in the middle there is nothing here this part is empty so to do that what we have to do is split this up so this is just one div all the way so we'll just split this up into two and add some gap in the middle so first i will okay i'll just add the gap in the middle and then i fix these corners so i'll add a div with a width of say half reduce the widths of just for consistency of the left and the right div so that it adds up to one okay so the thing that we want to do now is to fix these corners and make them straight so for the left so I'll just change the color so that it's more visible so for the left div that is the red div we will remove the top right corner rather we'll remove the top right border radius and for the right div that is the green one we'll remove the top left so now we have what we want so that you still see the highlights so that just makes it clear how the divs are arranged where are there where they are divs for some gap and we can remove those to see and uh, see what the final result looks like so i'll remove all the backgrounds from the divs and there we have the final result quickly i will reduce this margin top from the numbers maybe also reduce this margin bottom so that maybe give it a margin bottom of one reduce the height here maybe okay so maybe give it a margin top of one that looks better i guess so that's all i think we are done with this we'll top it off with the color give it a give it a we'll give the rounded bracket a nice color so we'll give a border color of cyan what is it gonna be 400 we have border color of cyan 400 that looks good so we're done here I hope you found this useful and I'll be doing maybe a video or two more about same rounded brace in different scenarios like maybe vertical or something so yeah that's off bye bye